I don't know. Last time I had worked out, bro, with no gloves, bro, I was I was locked in, bro. Just be the hey, bro, no gloves. I saw this Revo Speed yeah. for like 350. The new joint. Speed? Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the one that they came out with? Yeah, the all black. It's like all black. Yeah. Matte black. Black uh, visor. Yeah. I'm gonna grab that joint. Ooh. Start with our right. Yep. Oh. 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 Ah. Make it ten times harder. Huh? Just trying to make it ten times harder. Oh, the helmet? Hell yeah. Oh, oh here. The third one, say get out. Get down, say break. Slap on. Go. 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 Get out. And go out on the one. So we started the game. Well, I mean, we started the, the, the second half on the one yard line. Like on kickoff? I'm like, nah, there ain't no way. You just caught the ball. So basically, the ball, the ball, like right there on the one. Kicker kicks the ball. He goes to chase it down. Good, good. Let it go out of bounds, dude. That chin tuck to that shoulder. When I say flip, right, we're gonna just really focus on our foot position here, right? So as I'm here, turn this foot, right? Open up this hip, use your elbows to open up. When I say flip, I'm doing the same, just doing it slow. So we're walking? Yeah, just literally a walk. Yeah. Go. Good. Flip. Open. I'm almost turning this foot in here. Then I gotta open up that hip. Is a it's like, dang. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 
Well, that's why I'm getting jammed up. Nah, once you get out, right, this way, right, get back this way, come here, gather steps with this foot, drive off of it. That's it. All right. I'll ride you. Instead of you running your feet out of here. If you run your feet, now you're going to be there for like 10 minutes. All right. All right. You T step, you're going to plan and go. Plan for and drive. Driving the same. Hmm? We're driving the same way. No. What no. I mean? We'll start this way. Open and finish this way. Drive about 90 that way. Oh, you like it? Yep. All right. I want you to hold your eyes out the brake. I saw the other day when I was training with my trainer, that was probably like not my good training session. And some training sessions are like that. Some training sessions, I get in my head a lot too. I know I'm working on that, trying to like to stay calm, stay put, like, you know, stay, you know, stay at calm, like stay at peace with my mind, bro. Just overthinking a lot of stuff and that kind of like affected my workout. So there was a lot of clips there. There was a lot of clips that I had that I just didn't put in there because it was just like, that's not who I am as a player. It's not me. I got a lot more potential. I got a lot more to give y'all then you know what's on those clips you know what i'm saying so we're here today right now to just sharpen up a couple of things really just you know fine tune things and, and and work on my weaknesses that's what we're doing right now i got like an hour probably on this field like an hour and then relax for the rest of the day stretch cover ice up and yeah watch some football for the rest of the day so nothing too crazy for the day yeah i just want to keep you guys updated on what was going on last workout feel me i guess that's not who i am feel me i got a lot more in the tank i feel like me personally what's been on my mind is like i'm not going hard enough as i should be that's on me i take responsibility for that so i got a lot more coming for you guys i'm definitely going to turn it up for you guys and give you what y'all deserve y'all been, been supporting y'all been you feel me tapping in heavy and for those who've been tapping in heavy you feel me consistently i appreciate y'all man love y'all for sure i love all y'all man i've been tapping in so but let's get into this workout and i'm gonna catch y'all when we get done we're gonna chop up some more give you guys a little update on what's going on and how i'm feeling mentally physically and spiritually so i'm gonna tap in with y'all when i get out of here man so go on all right man let's get to it man so we just finished the workout it was it was tough man i had i was locked in for this this workout man i really you know what i'm saying i really liked the way this workout went i was really locked in just fine tuning some things that you know i was struggling with not really struggling with but just like i was just not in tune with when i was training with my trainer on saturday it was just a lot of those minor mistakes bro like i said i was in my head a lot too it's just those days where it's just you do it's just hard because it's like your thoughts kind of like starts to overpower feel me and like that in that moment and it was just like bro i can't get nothing right i'm dropping passes like can't get my footwork right i'm, I'm tripping i'm slipping like it's just and the workout before that when i trained with him i was locked in so it's like i, I think it's just, just getting out of, getting out of my head space like and just really just doing focusing on the main thing bro and just doing what i've worked hard all these years for and putting the hours to do you feel me and it's it should be it's it should be second nature you feel me it should be second nature to me i don't know what was going on last weekend it was just a lot going on a lot of stress a lot of behind the scenes stuff that was going on like behind the camera stuff like i don't know it was just stressful and i, I put a lot of that on me i take responsibility for that you feel me because it was just i was just putting too much on my plate you know what i'm saying i wasn't really focusing on the main things and like i said i was just trying to step away from the work you know really just you know focus on my mental and really just locking in and really just seeing like the, the bigger picture of things and really just you know i slowing my life down a little bit because i was just been moving 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 go 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 like and it's just all that stuff is cool like it's cool to like get that work done it's cool to grind it's cool to just put your head down and go but sometimes you get lost in that you really don't you feel me and your mental not there 
You feel me? Your spirituality is not there. For me, like, when I was going through that moment, like, I, I found myself, you know, drifting away from God. And it's like, I, I wasn't really talking much, like, about, you know, my faith. I wasn't really talking much about God. I wasn't really in my Bible. I want to be transparent. Like, I was not reading my Bible like I was like I was before. Every morning, I would get in there, get in the hour, read. I will take my Bible to work, read, you know what I'm saying? Study. Just listen to sermons. But, like, it's just that moment in my life was just like, I don't know. It was just, I was not locked in at all. And, like I said, this that's a sign for me to say, like, I'm not perfect, bro. Like, I'm not perfect at all. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all the real. Like I was not in my, I was not in the word, bro. And I seen it too. I seen it too. A lot of stuff was happening. A lot of stuff in my life wasn't falling in place. And it was just like, oh, what's going on? Like I'm doing everything I could. Like what's going on? But in reality, like I was doing that so I can get, so he can get my attention. You feel me? Because I was drifting away from him. I kind of like had to sit back and realize, like my family went, was in Jamaica. They had, I, I had time to just really just sit back and think, like, yo, like I'm really like not in tune with God, like right now. Like I'm not like in my word. I'm not studying. Like I don't know. I just wasn't in the right headspace, bro. But it's like that's stuff right there man it's just something that you gotta pray upon you feel me like i know y'all seen somebody in my channel um that i've been with like and that stuff like was you know stuff been going on but you know it's it's all fixed now and you know that, that was be stressful as well too but like i said i take responsibility for you know the things that was happening behind closed doors and you know and that stuff's getting fixed you feel me and we're you know focusing on the main things right now and really just tuning up and locking in dialing in and yeah so i just want to keep it real with you guys but man, another thing too man it's like i been wanting to just expand and really reach you know the highest expectations i can for me and my career and i feel like i've let people dictate you know what i'm saying what my expectations were dictate like how i you know handle my life handle my career dictate like what i would do what, what's my next move and it's like that like the burden because it's like bro like i'm i'm sitting i'm comfortable right now like you feel me like I, i'm sitting comfortable and i don't like to be comfortable i want to be able to take that risk take that you know that ne that next move to you know expand in my you know my career my expectations and you know what i'm saying my skill set that god gifted me you feel me and i want to do that so right now like the message right now is like i'm not letting nobody anybody dictate or tell me their expectations on my life unless it's god you feel me if it's not god i don't want to hear it. like I'll, I'll be open to hearing it you feel me and i'll be open to taking advice for sure like don't get me wrong i'm not, I'm not i don't know everything you feel me i'm gonna take the advice but if it's not aligned with god like and it's not aligned with me and God's plan, like it's like I'm not trying to hear it. You feel me? Because a lot of people don't want you to take that risk or don't don't want you to make that next move because it's not gonna benefit them. Like you feel me? Like we, we rely on you feel me other people's expectations on our own life. You feel me? We and it's it's that's like that leaves a burden to us. Like you feel me? And for those who are watching, like that want to chase their dreams, like just go chase your dreams, bro. Nobody gonna tell you. Nobody should be able to tell you how to live your own life, bro. At the end of the day, we got one life and we not promised tomorrow. You feel me? We are not promised tomorrow at all. We are on a time limit, bro. Time is running out. You feel me? And that's you know my mind right now. That's the model I'm on my right, right now. Like it's just I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just take that risk. I'm gonna just take that next move. Like never know, bro. That next move could be the door that's opening for you to change your life, change your family, like, change the dynamic of your you feel me, your, your situation, whatever you're going through. So that's what I'm on right now. And I don't care. Like people watch my channel. Like I got family that watch my channel. Like I got people. You feel me? Like I don't care. But I don't care what they say. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If they they get mad, they gonna get upset. Like I don't care, bro. Because at the end of the day. It's what's best for my life. It's what's best for me and God. Like, it's just, at the end of the day, it's just what's best for, you know what I'm saying? What's best for me, you feel me? And I've always been, like, the type to be like, all right, I ain't going to do it because this person going to get upset. I ain't going to do it because they don't align with this person's expectations. Like, nah, bro, like, I'm tired of living like that, bro. I feel like I'm living in, in, in a cage shell, like, locked up. Like, I, I don't feel like, I don't like that, bro. Like, I, I'm done. I'm done living that way. And y'all can take it however y'all want to take it, bro. Y'all can get upset with me. I don't care. Y'all can have animosity. Y'all can, you feel me, turn your head. Is, it don't matter. I don't care, bro. As long as I got me and God, bro, that's all that matters at the end of the day. At the end of the day, a lot of people going to turn their back on you when you in the dirt. But when you up shining, bro, everybody going to want to be your friend at the end of the day. Everybody going to want something from you. It's as simple as that, bro. But I hope y'all take this, man. We got motivated, bro. I hope y'all go chase y'all dreams, bro. Don't let nobody tell you that I can't do nothing, bro. We're rap, and I want to be a living testimony for that. You feel me? But other than that, man, right ahead of the crib, finish the day out. Got to watch some college football today. I want to sit down, relax, eat some food, and... Yeah, man, just just kick it for real, bro. Just trying to get my mind right at the end of the day, so that matters. But I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in for real. Yeah, man. I make sure y'all check out this video right here. This video right here is the video with me and Jarvis. You know, we collab, and he's in uh, Germany right now. He's in Europe. So make sure y'all go tap into that video if y'all haven't seen it already. Just like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. Lay out, man. Y'all be safe. We gone.